making beautiful music. It sounds just like a harp. Our artist on our staff is our son, Dan. He created this to showcase the award he won in 2018. You excited for this, Mom? Yeah, very. Good Mother's Day gift, huh? It's an excellent Mother's Day gift. Why don't we do it every year? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Bring it on. Here we go. That's our chariot, Mom. Hey. Okay. Our chariot for the day. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. What's up, Mark? Hey, Tori. Okay. Good to see you, too. Welcome to Washington. Love it. Love it. Love it. I hope you don't have a hard, sore back right here. <laughs> Bring him up to work. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. You're making beautiful music. It sounds just like a harp. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. Hello. Mark, is this how you get greeted every time you come home? <laughs> yes, by the harpist. <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> Where's your tip jar? I can give you a tip. How nice is this? I love my job. I love your job too. <laughs> What do you think, Mom? Did I describe it? Hey, it's Mark the Pond Guy. I'm at my personal residence, which we call the Moonlight Pond Tour, where we invite the general public to come and look at the water features we've created to find inspiration for their own yard. The Moonlight Pond Tour details are found on markthepondguy.com. It is the first Saturday of each month, May through October. And look what I found. This is the lovely little Helena Eleanor. We call Ellie. What does this say on my shirt? Fun, Mark the Pond Guy. That's right. Are you having so much fun? Okay, you go that way, I'm gonna go this way. So that was our little three-year-old granddaughter.
And this is the lawn that I maintain. I mow it about three times a week. I am the sole person that steps on this lawn simply because I maintain a perfectly clean edge and nobody realizes how fragile that is. Our artist on our staff is our son, Dan. He created this to showcase the award he won in 2018. In your head, it usually doesn't work. You have to be fluid, do what the rocks, basically just do what the rocks tell you. Being an artist is more than just being one day. You have to make money out of it as well. Getting it's out of the waterfalls, just streams, receiving the energy, convert, do what the rock do what the rock so much, so much, take to take in. much to take in. I'm Dan Harp, artist of the year 2018. This waterfall here, I built specifically for my wife. She spends a lot of time in the kitchen, and so when I designed it, I wanted her to see it from the kitchen window. My dream of having a pond that I could actually swim in came to life about 10 years ago, where we enjoy our personal recreational pond that is 10 feet deep, stocked with rainbow trout and largemouth bass. I get to enjoy my recreational pond year round because that is my office. So one thing that sets us apart as a company is that we live, breathe, and are inspired by water features. As you can see in my very own yard, I've got water features everywhere with more to come. Building a large waterfall up in that area. So while I have Greg here and I have his camera in hand, I want to do a shout out. Some of you don't know that I started off mowing lawns. Then we got into some landscaping. But from mowing lawns to becoming one of the nation's top waterfall pond installers, Greg single-handedly changed my career path when he put a seminar in downtown Seattle in 1997 that I attended. And I personally know that Greg has some that love him and some that hate him. And I can say for those that hate him, they don't know his heart. They are missing out on a tremendous person that is walking this earth. This man has given and given and has a heart of gold. And for you haters, you are missing out. Again, this man has single-handedly changed the course of our family future and has revolutionized the business and continues to. So Greg Whitstock from the Harp family, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for giving and giving and giving. And here's to many more years of you influencing our lives. It never gets old coming to the Harp compound. And what's amazing about this is we're in a subdivision. It wasn't a subdivision when they first moved in. In 1991, the year that I started my business, this family bought this incredible property and made it an incredible property. To me, it's so fun to visit my certified aquascape conjurers that have become my friends over the years. I wish I could come here every year. It's just always something new, always something interesting, and it's just the hospitality. I mean, to be able to be serenaded when you get out of the car by a harp player and a cute little girl. That's where I stayed the last time I was here. Mark's now turned it into his office, but look at that. It's just like a fantasy land out here. So I'm gonna basically leave it at this. Fantastic. 
fantastic profession. Mark used to cut lawns and now he creates paradises and he lives in a paradise. And it's really fun for me because this is all because he went to a seminar at Aquascape and got into this stuff in 1997. And here he's basically providing for his entire family and living a lifestyle like this. Bye.